So I came across this article pertaining to the Canadian housing market versus the United States housing market. There's some compelling information. There's a lot of information I don't necessarily agree with, but I found it very interesting. So I wanted to bring attention to this article. I'll leave it in the description, but I want to go through it with you guys. And if you guys are Canadian, I'd like for you guys to chime in as well and let us know your thoughts. So it goes on to say the median home price in Canada is about 50% higher than the median home price in the United States. However, the United States has stronger income and employment opportunities. Not only is the Canadian housing market more expensive than the US housing market, but average wages in Canada are also lower. Now, I have not confirmed any of this, but it's interesting that they are comparing the two in terms of how much higher the cost of living for housing is compared to the United States, and allegedly the United States has better wages. U.S. disposable income is roughly 10% higher than Canadian disposable income. However, Canadian home prices are roughly 75% more expensive. And there's a real home price versus real disposable income, and it shows United States and shows Canada. And basically what this guy's alluding to is that U.S. housing market is not in a bubble and does not foresee a housing crash. One could argue the data shows U.S. housing market could actually be about 10% underpriced. If the U.S. housing market becomes an ex as expensive as the Canadian housing market, the median home price in America is anywhere from $350,000 to $400,000. So if we jump over to Redfin, we can take a look at the average or the median sales price for U.S. housing. And as of April, it was roughly about $389,000. And as many predicted, the real estate market is in decline and we are down hovering about 364,000 in the beginning of November. If the US housing market got as expensive as Canada's housing market, the median home price would be closer to $656,000. I don't know about you guys in the United States, but I know a lot of people are paycheck to paycheck. And if the values of real estate actually went that higher with the current mortgage rates, I don't think uh, there'd be any real estate sales altogether. So I just don't, I don't see it. Uh, the most affordable countries in the world, the United States is the second most affordable country in the world pertaining to this article, while Canada is number 17. Canada, uh, Canadians spend 49.62% of their income on a mortgage. And uh, the Canadian housing market has been booming ever since the early 2000s. And it stated that basically they didn't really feel that much of a glitch during the GFC, the Great Financial Crisis in 2008, 2009. Uh, when was the last time you heard about America's, Americans buying up Canadian real estate? I don't know many Americans who are buying summer homes or retiring up north. On the flip side, Canadians are consistently the number one largest form buyers of United States real estate, according to National Association of Realtors. And yes, in Southwest Florida here, we do have a large population of Canadians who bought here and they bought for investment purposes, but many of them bought for second homes out here. And I might agree with that as well. I don't know necessarily too many people that bought in Canada that live in the United States. I do have a handful of people that I know that actually bought over in Lake Ontario. But um, in terms of people actually migrating up north to Canada uh, from the United States, I, I could probably agree. I don't see that many as well. Uh, here are the main reasons why the Canadian housing market is so strong. High demand for single family homes, but not enough. Apparently between 2011 and 2020, Canadian builders built more apartments and not enough detached homes or single family homes. Um, Canada is roughly 3.9 million square miles. However, most Canadians are clustered in a handful of major cities not far from the US border and Canada doesn't have as much livable land as one might imagine and allegedly they are running out of land to build. I don't know. Uh, relax foreign buyer rules. Canada is relatively well known for having an open door policy for immigration. Therefore, it is no surprise Canada also has a relatively open door policy for foreigners looking to buy property. Non-residents have the same ownership rights as residents. Unfortunately, the open door policy has squeezed locals 
That's very interesting. Um, again, if you are Canadian, I'd like to hear more about that. Are you seeing a lot of foreign investors from different countries coming in and being a, a competitor for the homes for the average guy that's looking to buy a property? I'm curious about that. Uh, Canada bans foreign home and buy, uh, actually in 2022, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau finally announces a two year ban on foreign home buyers to help cool down the housing market. Uh, also says that it's easier to launder money in Canada from 2015 to 2020. The news media ran stories about the U.S. 626 million of real estate bought, being bought with laundered cash. The largest, largest international source of, was China, representing 22% of cases, about half as many as Canadian source laundering. The U.S. was third with 11.4% of cases, half the size of China. As Americans, we strongly value independence where Canadians seem to emphasize interdependence, subsidize healthcare, subsidize college tuition are great examples of a more communal Canadian culture where nobody gets left behind. Uh, however, it's a, it goes on to say, however, with Joe Biden as president, we're slowing, slowly more moving toward the Canadian ideology. I mean, let's just look at uh, the forgiveness of college tuition and college debt. Um, I don't know where you guys stand on that side, but I think it's ridiculous. And yes, it looks like our ide ideologies have been changing more into a socialist uh, type of um, po uh, political stance. But, um, you know, unfortunately, that's politics. You know, who's in office rules the land, right? The U.S. housing market could revalue higher instead of Canadian housing market correcting downward toward the United States market level. I see a greater chance of the United States housing market rises to the Canadian housing market levels. Let's put the potential at 60% within the next 10 years and 75% within the next 20 years. For my 2022 housing market predictions, I fir firmly believe Foreign will for, foreigners will come back rushing back to the United States with President Biden in charge. We have a relatively more open door policy for foreign real estate investors. Further, I suspect foreign investors will rush back to the United States once the pandemic subsides. As I conclude this post, I hope everyone realizes now how cheap U.S. real estate really is. Although prices have been surging higher recently from a global international perspective, prices are still very uh, affordable. Now, I think it's pretty safe to say that a long position in real estate is probably going to be beneficial because historically, real estate does appreciate in value year after year. And we do see some <coughs> peaks and values, valleys in real estate. But um, for, for this guy to say that U.S. is uh, really cheap and affordable... I mean, I think it's kind of hearsay, and I, I just don't know if the uh, economics with wage growth and everything that he's talking about <clears throat> is valid. I, I have no idea in terms of you know the the Canadian um, economics in terms of employment, but I know that uh, based on where we're at today, uh, people are being squeezed at the current um, the current uh, cost of housing at this point in time. And uh, I don't see how it could just continue to go up to those levels that this guy is talking about. I'm going to drop this in the link for you guys below so you guys can read it as well. But, you know, take a look. I'd like to get your opinions on it as well. Are we going to see U.S. housing prices inch up and get comparable to Canadian housing prices? Or maybe we're going to see the Canadian housing uh, market just completely implode on itself and those values come down to um, more affordable uh, pricing. I don't know, but I'd like to hear from you guys. Drop in the comments below, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for being here.